Have you dreamt of working and traveling around the world but thought it was way too expensive? Well, think again because in this video, I'm going to show you travel hacks mini globe trotters such as Sam Coda and Lost the Blank use that enables them to work and travel around the world on a budget. This is the travel plug to enable me produce the most efficient information for you. I had to look into acquiring two of the best courses on traveling and bring you the most accurate information from both worlds. I was afraid of leaving my comfort zone and going by myself into the unknown world. And I was also afraid of not having any money. And then the people that I hosted in my apartment told me two amazing things. First of all, you don't have to be brave to travel. You just have to have a little bit of courage to start, to leave. And the other thing they told me is that you don't have to be rich to travel. So let's get into it. My name is Roy Heritage. I am a traveler currently exploring my country Ghana. Now I make travel related vlogs, camping vlogs right here on this channel. So go check it out, but also plug you into essential tips and information about tourism around the world. Now I decided to break this video into two parts, how to make money and then how to travel cheap. So let's look at ways that you can make money while traveling. Of course, if you are a YouTube or content creator, hopefully you have a camera, your phone is okay as well. It's important to have a brand name, set up a YouTube channel, get yourself a logo, use Canva. They have a variety of templates that you can use to create a decent logo to fix your brand now you can also go to camera.com so go check it out this is for content creators who want to make money while on the go when you are starting now nobody knows who you are and what you are capable of so before you decide to start traveling it's important to build a portfolio for yourself by contacting local businesses offering them free content in order to land on paid gigs for the opportunity to create material that you can advertise for your brand while traveling uh one other way is to write uh you can write a blog uh open up a facebook page after, after a while, you can maybe write a book and so on. Uh, but what brought me largest amount of money uh, is actually going to Australia. This is a job I worked in Australia. Uh, I call it professional traffic diverter. Uh, <laughs> it's a very hard job, as you can see. Uh, you tell people, please go this way, not this way. <laughs> I mean, if they're blind, you know. Oh, yeah. So, for this, I was, um, I was getting paid $20 an hour. Um, I, I am sorry, I know you hate me and all that, but... Oh, well. Um, plus, I had food and accommodation included. Um, no, I know, I know. Uh, and actually, one information, this was on my round-the-world trip. Uh, it took me 13 days. Uh, of working at this job to pay off eight months of traveling from Croatia through the entire Asia reaching Australia. So 13 days of work in exchange for eight months of traveling. Now in my case, personally, I have a travel read with a lot of photos and videos that I have created on Instagram. You can go check it out. And most times companies reach out to me to be a part of their event or produce some content for them. And that's just a side hustle for me to make some money. Of course, in order to be good at producing content, you must build skill. And there are a lot of tutorials and courses out there to help you produce amazing content for brands all over the world. Now, the Lost Creators Academy is one of them as well as some coders, Coder Creative to choose from. One thing you need to understand is that this form of making money through content creation requires a lot of discipline. And there are going to be times that you feel tired where you may not even have internet. You are not motivated. But if you don't rise above these obstacles, it's going to be tough. See, creating content is hard. Some of my nicest shots I had to wake up in the early hours of the morning if you let excuses get in the way a habit cannot be properly formed for success in the future every time you push something to another day you take 10 steps back towards your ultimate goals it's 100 percent commitment or nothing in this nomadic lifestyle it doesn't matter what you decide to produce content about as long as you put all your time and effort into it it will eventually pay off i've learned that all the people around the world no matter how much we try to point out the differences between the cultures races uh, religions and so on we're all actually basically the same. You walk in the streets you've never walked before, start talking with random people uh, on the street, get a new hobby, find a new job, maybe write a book, uh, give a TEDx conference talk, you know, like all sorts of things. So in summary of the types of job that you can do while traveling, it doesn't matter the profession that you're in. As long as you have a portfolio of what you want to do, both online and on your phone, you can show it to various people while traveling. You will meet people, propose to them what you do. One of my trips to the Ashanti region, the owner of a resort that I stayed in, 
propose to do an advert for them in exchange for the duration of my stay so if you are paying a lot for a hotel you save money that notwithstanding writing proposals to several businesses is the way to go now you can send them emails or dm them suggesting ways that you can add value with the skills that you have either professionally or contents to boost their business so i have this friend that i hosted in ghana he is a traveler and he was telling me how he just mows lawns and charges 25 dollars per hour for his services so when working while traveling most people will pressure you to push down your risk it happens to me on countless times people love a good deal if you pitch for 50 they push it to 30 you pitch for 100 they ask for 70. people feel if they don't get a bit of a discount they didn't get a good deal so one strategy to use is to know the price that you want to close and offer something that is fairly or a little above that so let's just say your value is 50 dollars an hour for the service that you provide you pitch 75 and give a discount of 15 dollars because they are a new customer and you want them to see what you have to offer most times they won't renegotiate at all it's a win-win a lot of businesses around the world practice this approach many clothing stores around the world have the entire shop on 10 percent of 25 percent of the real truth is that the actual price is the discounted rate the psychology of humans perceives the fact that we are getting a discounted rate because originally it was 25 percent more you'll be surprised how effective this actually is at getting people to feel they got the better end of the back end this is the basis of freelancing while traveling and i'm sure by your demand we can go more into it like how to price yourself how to manage your first brand deal the art of collaborations getting collaborations how much you should charge etc now if you are not interested in working with brands or through social media you can try tools like au pair woofing volunteering where you can work as an online tutor a nanny a caregiver for the elderly language exchange for accommodation and so much more welcome to a day in my life as a volunteer in tanzania with volunteer world i wake up usually at 7 a.m and enjoy local breakfast with my host family at 8 a.m i walk to the local school where i teach children between 3 to 14 they are very eager to learn and I'm always assisted by other teachers and they help me with basically any problem I'm facing. From 1pm to 4pm I have free time to explore and hang out with other volunteers. The nature here is really beautiful with plenty of green and a lot of waterfalls. From 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. I continue to teach at a public library. At 8 p.m. there's usually dinner time with the host family enjoying local food. After that we usually meet with the other volunteers and do some karaoke. If you also want to be a volunteer, find your dream volunteer project now on Volunteer World, made for meaningful travel. So let's look at how to actually travel cheap, flights, accommodation, food, etc. One thing a lot of people don't factor for our traveling is the destination. It's very important to find places that have a reputation for budget travel. I'm talking about Southeast Asia, Central America, Central Asia. Interestingly, Uzbekistan earned the title the cheapest country in the world in 2024. So let's talk about flights, which is by far the most expensive part of traveling. And I'm going to give you all the deepest, darkest tricks travelers use around the world to get cheap flights to various destinations. Have you heard of Skip Lag? The website has been sued and won their case rally from American Airlines because they found loopholes for people to travel and get cheap flights. It's been called an open secret in flying for years. Do you know what hidden city ticketing is? Hidden city ticketing, also known as skip lagging. You said we were flying New York to Denver. Yeah, I know we are. My boarding pass says we're flying to Los Angeles with a layover in Denver. When a traveler purchases a ticket with a connecting flight, but gets off at the layover airport rather than the final destination. You can often save hundreds of dollars per ticket. That's why hidden city ticketing works. For instance, a nonstop flight from Atlanta to Orlando might cost $250, but a flight from Atlanta to Dallas with a layover in Orlando could be nearly half the price at $130. For some, the choice is simple buy the cheaper ticket and skip the second flight to Dallas. Because airlines are not based on distance flown, travelers find that they usually pay more to fly shorter distances. Skip Lagged found a way around it that airlines hate and travelers love. Skip Lagged promises ridiculous travel deals and says it exposes inefficiencies in airline pricing such as hidden city flying. The site also lists precautions, including this warning. You might upset the airline, so don't do this often. So this is how it works. Rather than you book a flight to your desired city, it's sometimes cheaper to book a flight with a layover through that city and simply get off the plane before the final destination of the ticket. So you forfeit the final leg of the trip. Though not illegal, airlines consider it a violation of their policies. So don't go boasting about skip lagging. American Airlines banned a teenager passenger for three years after he admitted to an airline staff of skip lagging. But it's something a lot of travelers do to get cheap flights to several destinations. For me, I usually get cheap flights from Google Flights. I like their layer 
out it's simple and you can find various destinations with prices let's talk about cookies not the cookies that we eat but cookies as in small files of information that our web browser generates for third party websites like youtube flight companies etc now these stored information about what we are looking for is sent to airlines whenever we want to search for a flight and it bumps up airline prices so the next time you are looking to purchase an airline ticket do well to go incognito and use a vpn to cover your tracks for better air tickets this information right here is gold guys remember for cheap tickets use google flights which is my personal favorite or you can use skyscanner and momundo as well now you need to be taking advantage of the various credit card travel rewards this will help you save towards your next travel destination because every time you use your credit card you could be collecting points and miles towards your next trip this is a huge part in traveling cheap because you can use airline miles for free plane tickets and hotel points for free stays in several hotels as a tourist i don't even get why some people prefer to be on several flights or book flights inland when you can take buses and trains to various destinations cross country you can check out my cross country drive from the capital to the savannah region in ghana it was amazing i stopped by the various waterfalls swimming the biggest lake in west africa and took some amazing shots you know photos while on a budget whereby if i had taken a flight i would have missed out all these amazing places now let's talk about accommodation so right off the back i made mention of platforms such as Ope and woofing but for me one of the easiest ways to get free accommodation is through couch surfing in ghana i do host as well it's a great way to give back to the travel community and to also learn from other travelers about their experiences traveling the world trust me some of the stories are wild crazy spontaneous and i live for such moments i think every new traveler starts with hostels and dorms until they can afford to stay in locally owned hotels and then probably to luxury hotels now staying in guest houses as we call it here in africa can be as cheap as ten dollars per night so if you can afford that it's a great way to start food can also quickly get very expensive if you constantly eat in these luxury hotels i call them tourist traps now the quality of food is usually not the best yes they charge so high for it so find where the locals eat in ghana we have local restaurants and food vendors that sell great food most of which tastes even better than the restaurants one thing to note is that try not to book expensive tours prior to your arrival because as long as you arrive there's so much to see and decide on what you want to do rather than being forced to pay charges of entrance fees and guided tours in various you know tourist attraction centers now if your dream is to travel the world start building your portfolio now because tomorrow it will be your greatest asset to enable you do what you love and have the funds to do so don't spend everything you have on luxury remember you don't need to be rich you need a skill that you can sell to others and in return they can pay you for your services to enable you do what you love my name is your heritage if you found some value from this video hit and subscribe to the channel for more travel plugs and i'll see you in the next one bye